Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to Former Fat Girl. I'm Nicole. I'm a former fatty turned certified nutrition coach now living and promoting the low carb lifestyle. So to continue with the early pioneers of the carnivore diet to dispel the myth that the carnivore diet is a fad, we're going to continue the education train with Dr. Salisbury. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the Salisbury steak, so let's get into it. Dr. James Henry Salisbury, an American physician and pioneer in nutritional research during the 19th century, is often credited with the invention of the Salisbury steak. He believed that diet played a significant role in health and sought to improve the well-being of Civil War soldiers who were suffering from various health issues. He hated the Army's biscuit diet. He believed that this was a diet that was causing disease and illness among the soldiers. Dr. Salisbury decided to put the diet to test. He tested his theories during the Civil War, treating chronic diarrhea among Union soldiers with a diet of chopped up meat and little else. After 30 years of research, he finally published his ideas, setting off one of the earliest American fad diets, which happened to be the carnivore or meat-only diet. For his first experiment, he placed six men on a diet of baked beans and coffee for weeks, and they all suffered on this diet, sustaining uh, paralysis, chronic diarrhea, heart palpitations, and oppressed breathing. He also placed four men on a diet of oatmeal porridge and coffee, and those men sustained flatulence, constipation, headache, and dizziness. After this first experiment, Dr. Salisbury concluded that improper alimentation is a predisposing cause of disease. By improper alimentation, he meant consuming foods which the human digestive system cannot readily and perfectly digest notably excess starches and saccharine materials, which are highly fermentable. Dr. Salisbury decided to try his hot water cure, although he noted the curative use of hot water was popular fad seven or eight years ago and doubtless did them much more harm than good, a result naturally to be expected from the ignorant employment of any force or remedy. For his final experiment, the new treatment restricts the patient to purely animal and consequently non-fermenting food, good lean beef or mutton with poultry allowed, say once a week. No vegetables, breads, cereals, fruits, pastries or sweets are permitted. From a pint to a pint and a half of water, as hot as it can be drunk, must be taken two hours after and one and a half hours before each meal and one hour before retiring. For Salisbury, minced beef patties were health foods. Salisbury believed that fruits, vegetables, and starchy foods could produce substances in the digestive system which can cause heart disease, tumors, mental illness, and tuberculosis. He claimed our teeth are meat teeth and our digestive systems are designed to digest meat. Starch was digested slowly so it would ferment in the stomach and produce vinegar, acid, alcohol, and yeast, all of which were poisonous to our systems. The minced meat was to be eaten with lots of hot water to rinse out the digestive system. It is this meat diet which led to the Salisbury steak. When he published his book, The Relation of Alimentation and Disease, about his findings in 1888, it created what might be the first food fad in America, one that lasted for at least 20 years. Though Salisbury Steak's star faded as a fad, it has remained on American menus and kitchen tables ever since, though Dr. Salisbury might be disheartened to discover it is often paired with green beans and mashed potatoes. So as you can see, um, the carnivore diet or the meat only diet as we know it today um, has been implementing to treat chronic illness since at least the early 
1800s to early 1900s. So um, hopefully this continues to help dispel the myth that the carnivore diet is a fad. This, uh, two of many uh, early carnivore diet pioneers um, that we're going to cover on this channel. If you have a doctor that you want me to cover, please drop me a DM or leave a comment below. I would love to learn about more early carnivore dieting pioneers in the, in the healthcare space. Um, but that is all I have for you in this video. Stay tuned for future videos and have a happy and healthy day.